Hi, my name's Marcus, and this is Roads Untraveled. Hi, Marcus, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good. Hi, my name is Zamrit. Uh, I'm the proud owner of the C32 2002 AMG. So, how long you had this for? Uh, I bought it off from a friend of mine uh, about a year ago. Uh, coming to a year ago, uh, was bone stock. Uh, looks like a typical C class, and uh, got it for a really good price. So I couldn't couldn't say no. Yeah. Yeah. It was a it was a good upgrade from uh, Mr. Bishi Lancer. No offense to Lancers out there, but it was a pretty eh, all right car. No, not much horsepower. Yeah. Saw this on the market and I was like, you know what, I, it's, I think it's for me, it was calling my name, so. Yeah, and I bet going from all-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive was nice too. Yeah, it was, it was a good experience. Uh, I, had a, I had a couple of BMWs before, so okay. I, kinda, okay. I was kind of used to the rear-wheel drive. Uh, and from a BMW to a Lancer and then to a Mercedes, it was just better. First thing I did that I wanted to change the appearance of it was to actually wrap the 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 what do you call it the top of the car. Yeah. Uh, so I wrapped it black, make it really low to the ground. Wrap the grill, wrap the side mm -hmm. side mirrors, and also wrap the spoiler carbon fiber. Uh, it was just l giving it a little bit more sporty look. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, you know then as as People say that once you once you dive in, you can't stop. So, no, no. and then I went on with the carbon fiber uh, lip, mm -hmm. and then got some nice rims, uh, Brabus replicas with Michelin Sports. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, and then we went on with uh, the interior. Uh, was because you spend most of your time in the interior, you wanted it to be comfortable. So mm -hmm. I went with a double din. Uh, stereo system and uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy with what it stands right now. Yeah, yeah. But there are a lot of future plans for this car because of its horsepower. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and then along the ways of having it for a year, I upgraded the whole cooling system so that when I actually upgrade the supercharger mm -hmm. to the smaller pulleys, I will already have a good cooling system with a high power intercooler. Mm -hmm. So smart man right here. Yeah. <laughs> It was a, That's uh, what he's doing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing that the previous owner was is still in contact with me. Yeah. So he has an E63 AMG and he was like, you know what, I will help you out with everything. And, you know, and, and it's been good it's, yeah. it, getting advice from him and stuff. It's like, you know, you can't, you can't know it all, right? So you, no. you need to get advice from here and there. So. Yeah. <laughs> It's got a 350 horsepower. Uh, with the intercooler, it bumped it up a little bit more to 355, 360. Uh, with the supercharger, I am most likely will be pushing about 400. Oh wow! Touching 400, uh, hopefully. But you know, it's since it's a 2002, 12 years old. Uh, there is a little bit of horsepower loss somewhere, so yeah. you know you gotta live with it. Yeah. As of now, it's a daily driver. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good daily driver too, so for like four door. Yeah. Like norm, normal people when they see like, especially if it wasn't, if it, even if it didn't have like the wrap and stuff on it, it's just, it looks like a C class. But then you punch it and it's. That's it's that's the that's way. the beauty of this car. Uh, so when when you usually drive up, a lot of people think it's just a normal C class, and then with you putting fake AMG stickers on it, <laughs> yeah. right? So. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you actually kick it, then you know like you you get that adrenaline rush. But you know, it's 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 a good and bad. Uh, there's always give and take. Like the fuel economy is not the best on this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's like every time you kick it, it's just you see the needle go down. So it's yeah. just, it's just kaching kaching kaching. Yeah. But you know, it's you gotta you gotta play hard, and you know, so it's it's a fun fun car. <laughs>
Mercedes really went all out in, in the way of the production of the AMG. Like the first one they came out was the C36, and then uh, it was typical C class, but with AMG trims, AMG engine. Uh, then the C32 came out with limited production till like 2004, mm -hmm. and then was the C55, and then we went up to C63. Yeah. But uh, in all honesty, I think the C32s are one of the most C36 and C32s are one of the most rarest in, in the lower mainland. Like, I have yet to find another C32 out there. I've seen a lot of C55s, mm -hmm. but C32s are just really rare. So, yeah. And this being a local uh, BC car is even better. So I'm not worried about the history of this car. So, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And it's like, the correct me if I'm wrong, but the C36 was a straight six, naturally aspirated. Yeah. And then this, this was, was kind the of the super first charged, one yeah. that they kind of... They were, like, they, they were uh, for this one, I think they were more of experimental, experimenting the supercharger mm -hmm. and then how it actually went, went with, uh, with the engine they had. So, uh, I, and I think it's one of a beast. I think the next car I would go with the E63, pure class. Yes. Pure class. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's the one. Uh, I think the, the version that I was looking at was a 2008 to 2010. Mm -hmm. Those versions were the only, the last model of those engines, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. The yeah. previous owner of this car actually has that. So oh, I sat, nice. sat in the car and I almost peed my pants. So, <laughs> yeah. So it's a natural progression to go. Yeah, it's a natural progression. And then AMG has really outdone itself. Yeah. So, yeah. And then uh, in terms of hopefully modifying this car to, to make it better. And then, you know, when, when people come by and check it out, you know, like, it's 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 superb yeah. to to good condition yes exactly hey well thanks for being on the show man thank you so much i appreciate it yes see ya yeah